Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. All right, here we are, Gemini. I'm doing this episode. I actually started recording and I had to stop because <laughs> I got thrown off. <laughs> so here we are again doing this now. Something just threw me off. Let me cut to the chase on this. I do pre-shuffles before I start the reading. The pre-shuffle energy in the main deck, I came across the Five of Pentacles, which usually represents lack, being left out. And then after I did it again, a shuffle again with the main deck, I came across the Ten of Pentacles, which means ultimate abundance, the creme de la creme. The clarifying deck, when I was preparing the shuffle, Two cards were already turned upright. And the first card that was turned upright was the Page of Pentacles. And I'm like, wow, all of this money, what is going on? And then the other card that was turned upright was the Queen of Swords. And I was like, oh, now I know what that is. <laughs> Based off of the pre-energy, you're about your money. Your, your mind is on your money based off of the pre-energy. Then I started your reading and the cards weren't making sense to me. When I was going through, I'm like, something's not coming together. What am I missing? And I stopped the recording. How about as soon as I stopped the recording, I figured out what the cards were saying. Like right after I hit the stop button, I'm like, oh, that's what it's saying. That makes sense. So now what I'm curious with this main reading, will the cards say the same thing again? Even if the same cards don't come out for the main reading that came out just a second ago, outside of the pre-shuffle, then will it still tell the same story? I'm, I'm going to be curious about this. So yeah, Gemini, here we are. Don't forget... I don't read reversals. I read energy. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If I talk out loud, I'm not always talking to you. Um, at the end of the day, this is entertainment. However, we do understand that st tarot card readings can resonate because I'm one of the people where a lot of readings have resonated with me, which made me go into tarot card reading because I enjoy it so much. So, yeah, let me... Go ahead and shuffle this. I am so ready to see what these cards are about to say. You just don't know. And it's moments like this that make it so exciting. It's moments like this that make it so exciting. And why these cards are so fascinating. I ordered like four more tarot card decks today. What's on the bottom? Four cups. Okay. That's somewhat in the vein. Somewhat in the vein. But yeah, we're not there. Okay. Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. What fell out? Hermit. You're going inside. You're looking for answers. Hermit card. You're going inside. You're looking for answers. You're reflecting. Even though you've already got some of those answers. Because based off of the, the preliminary shuffle from the clarifying deck. With that queen of swords coming out. You're, you're very clear on things. But you're gathering more answers. Is what I feel. You're not looking to hear what other people are saying. You're looking to gain answers from within and do your own research and gain your own knowledge is what that is. Tell me what the energy is of Gemini for January 2021. Tell me what the energy is of Gemini. For January 
2021. Okay, you seem like you do not want to go back in. What is this card? I can't make this up. This was one of the cards that fell out before I um, stopped recording the first video of your reading. This came out again. The Ace of Cups. Emotion. Emotion is overflowing. Tied to something. And if it's that something, woo! Gemini, 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 Gemini. I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> Tell me. Oh my goodness, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm, I'm really getting goosebumps right now. Like my skin is tingling right now. Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January. 2021. Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. The lovers. Romance. Okay. So there is a deep relationship here. Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. Tell me what the energy... Did a card fall out? No, okay. Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. Tell me what the energy of oh, one fell out and this one is telling me it wants to come out. So you got two. Wow. You got the King of Cups and the Star. Hope. Okay. I'm getting the cards that I'm pulling right now. Okay. Let me just go ahead and do a recap. You have the Hermit. You're looking inside. You're, you're seeking answers internally right now. Ace of Cups, emotion overflowing. One of the reasons the emotion is overflowing, the lovers. You're tied to someone. And you care about them deeply. King of Cups. Again. Emotion overflowing, but usually with the King of Cups, he more wants to be loved than, than pouring out love. Not like the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is pouring out love. She just, she gives her love very freely. The King of Cups, he more seeks to be loved. But he still loves deeply. And then the star, which is hope. This is giving me the vibe of what was before, except in different cards. And that's so I'm going to tell you in a second. I want to take a few more cards because I got five. I want to see if I can do three more. If the answer is clear, if a certain card pops out, I'll tell you. But after if not, then I'm going to have to wait until the three and then I'll tell you. But, um, yeah, I got some news for you. <laughs> Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. 
tell me what the energy and here she is the queen of cups I can't make this up the queen of cups this relationship Oof. woo but there's a reason that money mm, mm -mm. tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. Tell me <laughs> My spirit is talking to me. <laughs> Tell me, oh, what the energy of Gemini is Just come on out. Page of Wands, new start. New project. Also passion, fire energy. Tell me what the energy of Gemini is for January 2021. Tell me what the... You want to come out, don't you? What are you? More cu Ten of Cups. There is a lot of emotion here. There is so much emotion. So much emotion. I'm going to do a clarifier. I want to do a clarifier. And I'm going to tell... Oh! I'm going to tell you why. Because it's deeper than this. It's deeper than this. And I wouldn't be having these thoughts if it wasn't for what I had seen earlier. I wouldn't be having these thoughts if it wasn't for what I had seen earlier. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I need you to clarify the spread for the energy of Gemini 2021. Clarify the spread for the energy of Gemini for 2021. Clarif and what do we have here? Two of Wands. A choice is going to have to be made. Okay, Gemini. I'm going to tell you what it is. The only reason I'm saying this is because, like I said before, I recorded the... What I was recording earlier, I figured out what it was saying after I hit the stop button. Like right after I hit it, I was like, oh, that's what it's saying. Gemini, either if you're a female, either you're pregnant or you're more than likely going to be pregnant. If you are a male, the person that you're dealing with is going to be pregnant. So this may have already happened and I'm feeling like this has already happened as in this is something that you will more than likely find out within the next two weeks. And a decision may have to be made. I feel, and this is probably why 
you're going in seeking answers, even though with the Queen of Swords, she's still concise in what she knows, what she wants. But you have two choices. I can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you the energy that I'm picking up is that there may be a choice brought to the front between your lover and your child. The star card, hope. Hope. But there is so much emotion in this with the Ace of Cups, love overflowing. With the King of Cups, I told, and like I, I've mentioned before, the King of Cups gives his love. He has no problem giving his love, but he more wants to be loved than giving his love. I believe that you want the love of someone. Queen of Cups, she gives her love without any type of boundaries. Her cup is overflowing. Her cup is overflowing. And that's what you're willing to do. But at the same time, you want to be loved too. This right here, which was the page of wands. Page, pages usually bring messages. With the wands, the wand also symbolizes the male, you know. So usually it's stronger when it's the ace of wands or the king of wands. However... Because in your spread, when I was doing it, the empress was in that spread. The empress usually means new ideas, being creative, but also the empress means pregnancy. It can mean pregnant with ideas or it can mean literal pregnancy. If the sun would have popped up, I would have been like, definitely you're pregnant. But with that empress showing up and with all of this all of these cups in here before and then with this star card the hope the hope and in addition to that being the star being the focus the child being the focus the child that you're willing to love as the Queen of Cups and give your love to. But also, you want your child to love you as well. You want your child to love you. But whoever your child is with, your lover, you want them to love you too. You don't want to have to make a choice. Two of Wands clarifier. You want the Ten of Cups, which is complete wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. You want it all. That's what the Ten of Cups is. The Ten of Cups is you get it all emotionally. All your emotional wishes come true. Ten of, Ten of Pentacles is more material, yada, yada, yada. Family, stability, things of that nature. Ten of Cups, Cups deal more with emotion. So, with you having to go inside and think about things, I'm telling you right now, don't be surprised if you don't know already. Don't be surprised if you hear in the next two weeks or so that if you're a female, that you're pregnant. As a matter of fact, you might want to run out and take a pregnancy test because and I wouldn't be saying this if the Empress hadn't popped out earlier when I was doing the original. 
when I was doing the original before I stopped it and figured it out at the last minute. But since that spread of cars in the original that I did gave me those vibes, which that was the other reason why money was on your mind, because you find out that you're pregnant and you don't want your baby to go without your child. And like I said, you could be male or female. You're a mother, soon to be mother, and you don't want your child to go without, or you find out that you're a soon to be father and you want to keep the child and you don't want the child to go without. And again, choices will have to be made. I feel that the lover who is in the picture might ask you to choose one or the other. And that's where the choice will be at in the road. Or it may not be that dark. But right now, that's kind of the energy I'm picking up. I mean, I, I just tell you what I pick up. It may not be that dark. It may be something like, okay, now that both parties know that a baby's on the way, are we going to get married or will we not get married? Even though I'm not picking that up. If the four if the four of wands would have showed up with this, as a matter of fact, I tell you what, I'll do this. What are we at? 21 minutes? Okay. Please clarify the two of wands for Gemini for January 2021. Please clarify. Okay, what is this? Hold on. I'm just going to let it drop. What is it? What is it? What is it? Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah. This ain't going to be about marriage. <laughs> Ten of Swords is going to be a painful decision and it's going to be a cycle coming to an end. Yeah. It was originally what I was thinking. More than likely, you're going to have to make a decision. And I hate to be, I hate to be the bearer of this news. More than likely, you're going to have to make a decision between your lover and the child. I believe one is not, I'm not saying they're going to hate the idea that someone is pregnant. But they, they may not be thrilled and they may give you a choice. Two of Wands clarifier. And it's going to be a painful choice. But once the choice is made, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the, is the most painful of the swords. But also, it's the end of a painful cycle. So once the choice is made, that's it. So if you are a mother and our mother to be and you haven't told your lover about them being a soon to be father yeah and if you are a father who hears the news are soon to be father and you just get the news from the mother saying hey uh, what are we going to do here? I think we should do this. And you're like, well, you know, that's where we're at on this. So the question is, are you going to keep the baby? It's that simple. Hate to be... <laughs> That I, I read the energy as it is. And again, it's going to take some thought. Because money is going to be one of the things. If you do, I know that you're not going to want the baby to lack anything. because, And that's going to be one of the things that's on your mind. Because the five of pinnacles talks about lack. When a child comes into play, that, that affects the finances. The good news is, is that. In the preliminary, there was also a 10 of pentacles. So the energy is there 
for you to have it all materially with the family and everything. In addition to that, there was the Page of Pentacles on the Clarifier deck with the pre-shuffle and the Queen of Swords. So, and one thing about Geminis, Geminis are very smart people, especially um, when it comes to street smart. Geminis know how to hustle. I know a lot of Geminis. Geminis are very street smart. You may come up with something where it's all going to balance, it'll all balance out. Now, don't get me wrong. Regardless of whether you decide to keep or not, a decision is going to have to be made. And in addition to that, other decisions will have to be made based on what you decide to do. If you keep, there's going to be other decisions. If you don't, there's going to be other decisions. But you're going to be at a fork in the road regardless of what you do. So just know, um, don't go to the negative. Don't be like, well, uh, how can I? No, Geminis are very resourceful people. They're very street smart people. They know how to hustle. They know how to make a coin. So when you're presented with the choice, don't just totally discount one thing because of, oh, well, right now I'm in that five of pentacles mindset. There's not there's not that much money available. I got to take that into account. And how can I possibly no? Because I pulled the ten of pentacles later in the pre-shuffle. Ten of pentacles is the creme de la creme. So the energy's there. Is what I'm telling you. The energy is there. So that's what I got. But within the next two weeks, I wouldn't be surprised if you find out if you're a female that you're pregnant or if you're a male that a female comes to you that you've been that you're really close with. And then she tells you that she's pregnant. Don't be surprised. And then that's when you're going to have to make a decision. And might be a painful. one. So, yeah. That is what I have for Gemini and congratulations, by the way. So, yeah, KIRWKC.com main podcasting platform. Also, this podcast is on Spotify, Google Play, Apple, iHeartRadio, Pandora and some other podcasting platforms. In addition to that. KIRWKC on Twitter on Instagram. Episodes are uploaded to IGTV and facebook.com forward slash KIRWKC. And I feel like I'm missing something. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Uh, feel like there's another platform. Oh, yeah. If you if you're watching this on YouTube <laughs> or Daily Motion, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell for YouTube. That will let you know when I upload new videos. And again, if you like this reading, Feel free to give a like button. Feel free to leave comments as well. I don't mind that. Comments, good, bad, or indifferent. Feedback is a gift. So it's all good. And don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. And that is all I have, Gemini. I love you. Until next time, be blessed.